Hey guys, Ringo Railway here. And uh, I recently attended a train show. By recently, I mean like a few hours ago. And so I took a break from filming uh, Rally for the Rails. And which you can see back there. Still in progress. We are super close to being done. But I just had to take a break. I got some items from a train show and I'm going to show you all what I got. Uh, most of y'all know I collect Lionel and HO along with Wind Railway, but I also got a Wooden Railway item. I think you're all going to be pretty hyped to see. And I got it for a pretty dang good price. You know, train shows have amazing prices, and you meet some amazing people. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Wait, we got a long list to go. So, we're going to start with a door prize that I won in this Union Pacific Coal Hopper. It is Lion L, new in the box. I don't know if I'm going to open it or not, but it's a cool item to have. You can never have enough rolling stock. That was a door prize that I won. It was the very last door prize of the day, or the second to last. And so that's our first item. Our second item was actually a trade. I traded a box car to get this item. It's a Santa Fe back coach. And I have a Santa Fe train, so this is actually a really good addition. Um, it's O gauge, that is what I run. So we'll put that off to the side. Cool item there. Uh, and then I also got this platform, which might make an appearance on the wooden railway, I don't know. Um, got this for $5. It's very undetailed, but I can fix that. Uh, put it off to the side. I also got this little coal hopper, also O gauge. It was a it was a dollar. It was just kind of a why not. Uh, I got a lot of stuff from this, and I did not intend to. Now this is a cool item. This is a cool item. Uh, we're gonna start with the locomotive. Oh wait, that's wrong thing. My bad. We'll get to that in a second. There we go. Uh, I got this Pennsylvania miniature diesel switcher. Um, it's roughly kind of looks like diesel. Not really. There actually is an engine in Thomas that looks like this. I got, and if I remember, I'll bring it up. <laughs> Sorry, I keep looking at myself. I gotta look at the camera. But here's what makes this item cool. This is a modified, self-modified by the guy I bought it from. This, it looks like a regular caboose, but what it does, and I really needed something like this, when it runs, it scrubs and cleans your track, which is a really smart idea. And I got this for about, well, I got it with a bunch of other stuff from this vendor. And I got it for around $20, which is a really good deal. And uh, so that's just a cool item to have, along with getting another engine. So I'll put those off to the side. And grab my next item. We'll just go with the new inbox. I got this for free because he threw it in with the items I got. This is not Lionel, this is Ultra Line or Weaver, one of the, and it's just another regular box car. Uh, like that was for free. I believe it is O gauge. It actually looks pretty big. It might be O. It is O scale. So this will probably just stay in the box. Uh, o gauge and O scale. There's a difference. So. That'll probably just stick around in its box. Uh, look, a little bit of drawback, not really. Uh, we'll go, what should we do? Uh, I'm bad at next. We'll just go with the bag right here. Oh, that was in the camera shot the entire time. You weren't supposed to see that. This is just another O gauge box car. Uh, pretty nice looking. It's K line. 
Uh, he also threw this in for free. Pretty good deal. Anything free is a good deal. And now this is where things get interesting. We'll start with the locomotive. If you can still hear me from back here. This is a Lionel model. And it's a it's an Oregon and Western Railway model. Here's the locomotive. I got this entire set for $50, which is a really good deal. This is 1949. And for 1949, it's in really good condition. It's got open wheels. And it runs f perfectly. And it comes with rolling stock. And as I said before, no such thing as not enough rolling No such thing as too much rolling stock. It just came with these sets of coaches. The coaches light up. I think, and I'm not entirely sure, it looks like a redone paint job, which kind of devalues it, but, I mean, what, do you, what can you do, you know? So I got a set of coaches, and I love coaches. I love, I love, I love coaches. However, here in the USA, they call those passenger cars. Put those off to the side. Okay, this one does not light up. It's got some things wrong with it, but that's okay. Here are the two more coaches. A lot of coaches, in case you haven't already picked up on that. And finally, oh, I thought this came with a back coach. No? Oh well. This is the diner car. This is an original paint job, I can tell, which is good. Um, yeah. So that's five coaches. And uh, finally, probably what y'all, the only thing y'all really care about is the wooden railway item. It's new in box. I got it for $6, and it's the soda oil depot. I got it for six dollars with the bonus of an oil tanker. That's always amazing. Can't have enough rolling stock. And I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up on camera. Uh, it started out for twelve, went down to eight, and I negotiated him to six. And if you if you don't go to train shows, you really you really should. Even if you're not into a Lionel O gauge or HO, there's still almost always wooden railway or anything that can really fit your layout and so I would recommend going but what am I to say I'm gonna open this up on camera we'll start with you know the cool thing Mattel should probably learn this look it doesn't connect to the destination. Isn't that amazing? Box float. It comes with an oil car and a pamphlet. Of course, no destination. Blah, blah, blah. Of course, there's a destination. There's the oil car, the date, 
is uh, I want to say it's 2000 2002 or 2003 so there's the oil car it's my actually only my second tanker and now the destination here's the oil depot pretty cool so that about wraps up so without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video so this was Ringo Railway saying goodbye thanks for watching